real sport. I mean, come on. And he's in a bad mood just because his precious space time is collapsing. Aha! Uh -huh. That's a uh, what's it who's it? You use it to mm, thingamajig. Any tinkerer can tell you that in an instant. Hospitality. They won't let me in. Ah, good to hear. We've done enough damage as it is. <laughs> you don't know me very well. I'm just saying, you're gonna save the world sometime in the future, right? So it would be most inconvenient if you were to be thrown overboard before that. Honestly, is your glass ever half full? Huh? What now? That's bound to be security. Quick, hide! When we're finally married... Wait a minute. Where's Mrs. Kinkle? And what's all this luggage? Surprise! I talked Mrs. Kinkle into letting me accompany you to Deponia instead of her. What? Are you out of your mind? Your father will never allow it. My father doesn't need to find out. So, what do you say? I say never. Really? You may be able to wrap Pops round your little finger, but just because he agrees to our engagement doesn't by any means mean that I have to agree to it. That's blackmail. You can call it what you like, but if you don't take me with you, you can hold your breath to marry me until you're blue in the face. It won't happen. Impossible. This trip to Deponia isn't some jaunt to the beach. I have an important inspection to carry out. Ah, oh, I almost forgot Precious's bathing costume. I said it isn't a jaunt to the beach. Anyway, how often have I told you to stop calling that animal precious? Well, what would you suggest? Princess. No. Mindy. No. Candy. No way. Nancy. No. Lady. None of those. He's called Poisonous. Uh, after all, he is a highly poisonous plague spit monitor. One lick of his tongue and bam! Could bring down a fully grown elephant. No problem. And despite that, you were planning to take him to Deponia, but not me. Believe me, there are many more dangerous things down there. Bacteria, radiation, tetanus, and there isn't an antidote in the whole of Elysium that can help against Deponian gangrene. By the way, did I pack the antidote for Monitor Plague Spit? Ta-da! You see, I could come in very useful down there. By carrying my things around without permission, everything must be safely stowed for my trip to Deponia. The roads down there are paved with danger. Junk avalanches, Insurgent Deponiums. Oh, give it a rest, will you? Those stories are nothing more than urban legend. And my inspection will prove precisely that. Huh, so what's with those lights you can see at night? They are from the Organon. Are Ulysses' men supposed to prepare the detonation of the planet in darkness? Hmm, I'm still skeptical. My travelogue is sure to convince you otherwise. You, the Council of Elders, and everyone else. These rumors are purely the product of general anxiety. I mean, we're detonating our home planet in order to catapult Elysium right across the cosmos to Utopia. Who wouldn't be nervous? Mm, yeah, but... Enough chitter-chatter. Here. Pack this away. Does that mean I can come? Oh, do say yes. Why should I take you with me? So you can cause even more chaos. Just look at how you stuffed the antidote in there. <laughs> Which bag is that, anyway? The one with the rat traps. 
rat traps. You've got to be joking. There isn't a single living thing down there. Not even a rat? No! I'm sure there'll be mice. But stop trying to distract me. The antidote belongs in the pharmacy bag, if only because it causes such heavy-duty flatulence. No. That's a bit rich coming from you. Huh? Huh? What? Whatever. If you want to come along, you'll need to put on some sturdy shoes. So that means I can come, yes? Oh, Kalitos. Perhaps you aren't the self-obsessed monster that everyone thinks you are after all. Yes. Those idiots simply have no feeling for perfection. <laughs> I'll be right back. I regret this. If only she wasn't quite so hot. <laughs> Engaged to the daughter of the Prime Controller. Oh, Cletus, you are quite a fox. <sighs> Cletus, that blasted grease rag. If I can ensure that he travels to Neponia without goal this time, then hopefully this will just be a brief cameo appearance. The question is, how do I get past him undetected? Ah! Hey, stop! Come back, you pandemic pestilence! I can't reach that from here. I can't reach that from here. As soon as Cletus sticks out his ass, his true identity is revealed. I can't reach... a new type of yoga? I'm stuck! No problem. Have you out of there in no time flat. Hit! <laughs> Uh, what's it who's it? You use it to mm, thingamajig. Any tinkerer could tell you that in an instant. I can't reach that from here. Aha! Mm, any tink. that from here. There isn't an antidote for that. My suggestion, burn it out. is a little <laughs> 
there isn't an antidote for the, my suggestion. My fingers and a false identity. Huh, 10 out of 11. Not bad. There isn't an answer to my. Si <sighs> Cletus, a blasted grease rag. If I can ensure that he travels to the pump, the question. thingy already serves its purpose. It's, uh... All I need for that, and a fall... Huh. My senses were unable to identify you. ID card! What I wouldn't give for a real laser now. What I wouldn't give for a real... Apple. I have things more point. Caution. <laughs> what I wouldn't give for. I can't reach that from here. Please direct your attention to this interesting detail. Please direct your attention to this the elevator call button. What I wouldn't give for a real laser now. Daddy's getting angry. Enough is enough. Come here. Here, kitty, kitty. Plague spit monitor. Heal you, Toad. Daddy is getting angry. Enough is enough. Come here. Enough is enough. Come here. Kitty, kitty.
bad little plague spit monitor. Heal you, Toad. Daddy is getting angry. Enough is enough. Come here. Here, kid. Oh, that stupid salamander. Stuffing would be too good for him. was that? I'm feeling kind of... Yes. How am I feeling? I can't reach that from here. <laughs> Uh-oh. What's happening now? Aha! Uh -huh. The high boat. Better get a move on. I can't reach that from here. If I can hit the question... He doesn't look good, and now he's turned green. Are you okay? Uh, uh, please, kill me. Ah, you're alive. Good. Are you okay? Uh, ah, you... <laughs> Here, take this. It'll make you feel better. You're a kind person. What is that terrible smell? <laughs> oh dear, what's the matter now? Uh, stop! <coughs> Please stop! <laughs> and uh, feeling better? Yes, but... What sort of infernal stuff did you give me? A little more gratitude. After all, I just saved your life. Yes, but at what cost? Oh, uh, what the devil is wrong with this ventilation system? And, uh, feeling better? Yes. What sort of... A little... After all... Yes. Oh, looking back, green wasn't really a bad color for her. Uh, stop! <coughs> Please stop! <laughs> uh, stop! I reach that from here. <coughs> Please stop! <laughs> I can't reach that. Uh, stop! <coughs> Please stop! <laughs> Stop! <coughs> Please stop! <laughs> My senses were uh, identified. Stop! <coughs> Please stop! <laughs> uh, stop! <coughs> Please stop! <laughs> You. Do you see anyone else? Who... Him. Attention! Prime controller on deck. That'll do, Argus. Ulysses. <laughs> Inspector, would you be good enough to tell me what's going on here? Uh, uh, yes, well... Uh... Stop stuttering and stand up straight. I thought we'd agreed that everything would be ready by the time I arrived. It is. 
Thus far, you've given me the impression that you're a reliable man, Cletus. Do yourself a favor, and don't spoil it. As you know, my daughter's hand is conditional. The Council of Elders must never find out that Deponia is inhabited. Where's your assistant? You are going to introduce her to me. Oh, my assistant. <laughs> she forgot something. Forgot? Heavens, Cletus! I thought she had a brain implant! You vouched for her! But I assume she has been made privy. If she... Uh, yes, of course. C completely privy. Everything's tickety-boo. <laughs> There's absolutely no cause for concern. I hope not. Argus, make sure the assistant has the ascension codes loaded into her implant. Very well, Prime Controller. Keep an eye on the civilians. I'm going for a shower. It's about time this horrible, dirty old planet got blown up once and for all. At ease! What's wrong, Cletus? You seem nervous. That's an understatement. The goal says she will only agree to our engagement if, if I allow her to accompany me. Ha ha ha! Not even engaged, and you're already under the thumb. You'll find that funny. Why not? You'll talk her out of it, won't you? You don't know her like I do. Heavens, Cletus! Ulysses will... Ulysses must know nothing of this. I just have to keep going in her cabin. As long as she doesn't see a Deponian, then everything will be fine. I still don't like it. What if you make a backup of her memories while you load in the Ascension codes? Then, if needed, we could reset her memories. <laughs> a backup of her consciousness and the Ascension codes. That might work. Fortunately, we'll be rid of Deponia soon, and Goal will have a clean planet to live on. I hope she's at home. I think Feces was a little harsh. <laughs> the silent ones are the deadliest. <laughs> so what? No one there. Damn it! I'll have to rely on my detective skills to avoid crossing Ulysses' path. Fa la 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 la. True la loo la loo la loo. Or I could just follow that angelic voice through that passage up ahead. Goal never told me that she once had braces. Ah, <laughs> how sweet. Goal never. Ah. Hmm. I wonder what Peter would say about these. Hmm. I wonder what. Goal never. Uh. The elephant who sacrificed its tusks for this piano apparently suffered from severe tooth decay. Almost every other key is black. Don't they have dentists here? I call it Etude for Goal in Upper A7 Karios. Knock, knock. May I come in and disturb your shower? My lovely... Uh, 
silhouette of a naked, hairy old man. Hey, Dad. Um, I'm going camping in the floating gardens for a few days with some friends. Is that okay? Of course it is, my little cream puff. Just so long as you don't reprogram the park attendants into cartridge music players again. You're the best. Bye. Come on, no way. Go! Go, go! For crying out loud, I missed her. Hey, who's there? What are you doing here? Uh, room service? A clone? Are the service bots out of order again? Ah, uh, yes. There's a bad outbreak of a robotulosis at the moment. Very contagious. On level five, even the toasters are already coughing. Is that so? Oh, never mind. Take my helmet to the cleaners and be gone with you. Very well. <laughs> Goosebumps. I wonder if that's the lure of potential abuse of office. How long does he want to stay in that shower? No, he's going to come out rumple wrinkle skin. Huh, I made it. And it's even more beautiful than I had dreamt it would be. Huh, I made it. And it's even more. That reminds me of my last visit to the dentist. I kind of stole a drill and some nitrous oxide. The next day, they kicked me out of kindergarten. Say, ah. That was F sharp, you philistine. White key? It won't be for a flat, then. <laughs> <sighs> Goosebumps. I wonder if... Oh, no. What do you know? Tony was right. Not everything is funny with monster foot slippers. Eh, I guess I'll have to apologize to that funeral service. What do you know? Tony was right. Not everything... Eh. I call it... Huh, there goes the neighborhood. Shall we give Lovebird Grey another go? But Sugar Plum, we've already decided that it's too gloomy for us. Maybe you should get an expert opinion. Oh, I didn't even see you coming. <laughs> what can I say? I'm like climate change, but you can call me Rufus. Oh, <laughs> you're a real joker. I'm Henna, and that's my husband, Tanner. We're the new neighbors. We've got a little problem setting up home. We just can't find the right curtains. The sissy soft drapes have these great conservative frills, but the pattern's not traditional enough for us. The limp bound blinds, on the other hand, are pretty middle of the road, but they, they aren't quite namby-pamby enough. You know how it goes. In a marriage, crises come with the territory. Oh no, nothing can cast a shadow on our love. Apart from perhaps the right curtains when we close them for a little smoochy-woochy. <laughs> yeah. How about Goosebumps? When I hear you talk like that, my skin crawls. Unfortunately, Goosebump is only available in the colors Squirrel Bath and Slime Bag. <laughs> Perhaps we should have them send some more patterns after all. I don't know. I find the selection suits you. And making any progress. Surely it doesn't matter, as long as we love each other. <laughs> True. I could look at curtains with you forever, Henna Poo. Oh, Tanner, how romantic! Oh, I wish we had even more patterns to browse. Ugh, you two are disgusting. And making...
Surely it doesn't matter. True. Oh. Uh, you. And make it sure. true. Oh, oh, I wish we had. Uh, you... No, thank you. All we need is our love. Oh, and perhaps a few. Oh, t oh. Blah. How about monster foot curtains? Oh, no, no, no. That would be creepy. We want to have lots and lots of children after all. Lots and lots of little henners and tanners. Okay, now that is creepy. No one there. Sound was not cool, cat. Try again. All I need for that is my fingers and my musical talent. Oh, that wasn't such a pretty melody. You're going to have to try harder. That sound was not cool, Cat. Try again. That sound, try again. That sound was not... Try again. That sound... Try... That sound will try again. 